I did want to kind of go over some YouTube stuff because mm -hmm. like I'm posting consistent consistently on YouTube. I'm actually gonna post this one video. It's like step by step um on like a the training on on like just how to do the ad funnel, I guess. But um yeah, like I've posted three videos in the past week, I think so. Um yep. not the highest amount of views. Well, yep. not the the most recent one. I, I expected to not get a lot of views. I was just doing that one for fun. But uh I don't know. I feel like my content yeah. hasn't been doing as well. Yeah. I mean if you compare it to the content that has done better, I can see one common denominator with the videos that have worked better. Mm. It's all been like um let's see um four hours today and made 5400 um 40k in a month 516k a year at 21 this is all i did to make 10k a month when you're packaging your next videos try to look back at the videos that that have done really well and like think what is it with them that's worked well and how can I apply that to the video that I'm making right now? Because mm -hmm. these didn't work by accident. It's not like, it's not like you had this video, this video, this video, this video, this video, this video. It's not like in this video, it's not like all of them worked well just by accident. And then the other ones yeah. aren't working well. There's a reason why. Yeah, um, that's crazy. I see a trend. Yeah. And I think it's a good idea to just, as you make the next video, try to kind of identify the things that would work well in this thumbnail that has worked well on the other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Is there anything that you'd say for like the space that I'm in that I can kind of, kind of like dif differentiate myself? I think you're already kind of doing that. Okay. I mean, I know there's other people in the space doing content like this, but how hard are you promoting the free school community? Um, like I'll say, I'll, I'll have a CTA on it on, on the YouTube videos. That's yeah. Much it. Since it's free, like there's no, there's no guilt around, around making call to actions. So I would almost just like spam call to actions, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Just like, or really go hard on the fact that like, it's literally completely free. It's complete no brainer. If you want client, almost mm. you can embed that, the whole fact that you're just giving stuff away for free. You can almost embed that into your brand a little bit. Yeah, that's something that Matthew Larson does pretty well. Like he always sauces his, his stuff. <laughs> you see how he's literally just spamming what's working. <laughs> Yeah. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> William and Brown it's like, camps what's working too, actually. So it, I guess it's I shouldn't be worrying about repetitiveness. Yeah, I think everybody spams what works. Yeah. Fair. Or yeah, like same with Iman, same with probably William Brown. Let's see. Yeah, he just spams these types of videos. <laughs> Out of four videos, one can be more of a personal one. Mm -hmm. but still packaged around something like, if you don't know that it's going to get you views, then you shouldn't do it. Okay. Or if if there's not like a, a strong level of certainty and confidence when you create the packaging that like, this is going to get views. Now, sometimes you you will feel that and it won't happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the videos won't perform as effectively. But for every video, you should feel certain that it's going to do well. Yeah. Because then you're doing it based off like you you have a you have a reason why you're packaging the video that way. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because the one with the red hat, I knew that one's going to do well. This one. And, yeah, and the top four. I, yeah. I, I didn't know if they were. So that's yeah. Super clear. Yeah. If you if you think about it like any other form of marketing, you wouldn't run an ad unless you feel confident that it's going to work or you wouldn't run an ad unless you have like 
reasoning behind it. Yeah. So that's the whole, that's like you, you use your understanding of your niche and what they want and want to, and what they want to see and what they'll resonate with. And then you use kind of like principles of packaging to highlight that in the, um, in the video, every video is like a hypothesis, if that makes sense, where you have mm -hmm. niche pl plus video equals video result, but you want the niche in the video part, you should understand it well enough to where you know that every video is going to do well. Right. Yeah, that's huge, actually. Especially in your space, such a massive thing is the whole authority thing. Yeah, for How sure. People want to, when the average SMMA owner goes onto YouTube um, and they're looking for a video to watch, they want the one where they feel like this guy's the feel man. like they're listening to the guy who knows what he's talking about. Right. So even in the video packaging, and then it's called authority bias. Even like when, if you remember, um, I'll never listen to doctors anymore, but when you were a kid, if you went to the doctor, that they, they would probably, um, you would sit there they would ask you questions. They would tell you something and you would just believe it because they're, and you would listen to what they have to say and, and everything like that because they're an authority figure. I mean, if you look at, I haven't seen all of William Brown's videos, but the, the ones I have seen it, he's done it in all of them. He does it in his packaging as well. If you look at the beginning of his videos, let's watch this. Hey guys, it's Will. And in this video, I want to share with you how I made Fifty-four thousand six hundred dollars, uh, just cool. above. Already built authority in the first like ten seconds. Oh boy, I'm gonna share something with you that made me um, rich. I don't like saying rich because it makes me feel a little bit pathetic. But I got bullied when I was twelve, so you can let me off, right? So, <laughs> without, so basically, look, I've got this idea to share with you. Um, it's it's a business idea, and it's one that you're probably never gonna have heard of before because it's my own brainchild, right? I haven't. Just He's like. It's a very well designed video as well. So you can get, there's videos that get millions of views with like a 2% click through rate. And, and the video will still get millions of views. Mm. So the, the packaging is very important, but the video content is also important. Um, <laughs> yeah, <I'm really laughs> look at this description. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> hilarious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was talking um, to a friend of mine, and he told me like everything, like literally everything in his videos is strategized. Like him walking inside his house, like yeah, it is. jokes he makes is is strategic. Yeah, totally. I mean, he's not he's 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 not just like I out here out on the palm he's... by or walking on the, the beach by it. accident. I figured yeah. out when I crack the code, the infinite and even. Let me it's a business idea and it's one that you're probably never going to have heard of before because even him saying that he's not doing it by accident the thing like and it's going to be something that you've never heard of before so you've got a good idea of um what to kind of do next yeah i think it's just like uh yeah being a bit more specific and while doing the same thing that's already working yeah so kind of circle back to all the videos that have done really well and do and implement more of what has caused them to do well, which we kind of discuss. A big part of that is the authority and the videos that appeal to your target audience. So what I mean when I say that is your target audience, they want to watch videos about money. They want to make more money. That's the main like desire they have. Yeah. So, and for example, the, the reason I think this video um, didn't do very well, even though it had like 10K per month in the title with your agency, I think you almost shot yourself in, a foot, in the foot a little bit with the beginning part of this title. Do this after you hit 10K a month with your agency. It's almost mm -hmm. like you disqualified all the people who are under 10K per month, which is probably the majority of the people who would click on your videos. Yeah.
Um, and with this one, I think we talked about this on our last call. It's not like a very big desire that your audience will have to fix this. Probably the biggest desire they have is to just get more calls on their calendar. And then they're probably thinking, Oh, I just want to book more calls. And then I can worry about the sure, show up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but yeah. If you're booking calls from these videos that are getting a ton of views, then I'll just keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking back, broke, don't looking. fix it. Yeah. I remember this one guy that came from the, I work for four hours video. He was at like 10, 12 K per month. And it wasn't even a sales call. You know, it was like so easy. <laughs> just like a conversation. Yeah. And like FAQs basically. Yeah. Where's that video? With the white yeah, hat, that one. that one. Yeah. Um that one was packaged pretty well in the beginning portion, if I'm honest. I like the opening of the video. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys. So today is gonna be a super super fire video. I think you can just see it about how I just made five point four yeah. by working four hours. You, you see get... it's like instant authority. Yeah. Within like ten seconds you built authority. I'm curious to see. I mean, we'll we'll look at this video. All right, guys, welcome back to another train. My face is this is gonna be pretty quick. Gonna talk yeah, about how I think that definitely could have hurt as well. Are. I mean, we can look at the not just specifically within Wait, your ads, but watching. just in general with your Instagram profile, with um, pretty much everything when it comes to showcasing your offer. So, what does this mean? So, it's like you're getting unqualified leads. You see other people just getting their dream clients. Like, how are they signing people? that are at five to 10K and you can't, um, you can't serve to your best of your ability because you aren't able to track the right clients that you exactly want to help with. Um, you know, these are some stuff that you probably are facing. You probably have a good service, but you just lack consistently, consistency with the right leads. So even if you have like one, one like uh, mules anyway, so you have to make sure you have to. Um, so the main two things really are just yeah, so and showcasing. Unless I missed it, unless I skipped past it. You didn't, uh, there wasn't really any authority that was built. Yeah. Yeah. And there also wasn't, you also didn't reinforce this title in the opening of the video. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So I bet a handful of people clicked on this video and felt like they got quote unquote clickbaited. Mm. Um, and, and I'll definitely have your face in the videos. Yeah. My camera wasn't working. So I just, you know. Oh, uh, let's see. A lot of the things that, help those other video because it's very asymmetric if you get youtube wants to promote the videos that people are wanting to watch right yeah. and so just a couple small things can like do a decent increase to how youtube sees that people are interacting with a video and can then make youtube see it as a video that's worthy of promoting does that make sense yeah so the fact that people probably clicked off in the beginning um the fact that maybe the click through rate was a little bit lower uh that the fact that the fact that maybe people didn't watch as long because they didn't they couldn't see your face they didn't feel as strong of a connection mm -hmm. you didn't build authority in the beginning um yeah there's actually a lot of factors that i'm not even realizing authority in the first minute authority bias when clicking on it um packing videos that you know will do well hard cta for free community and then just sticking to what worked and where your target yeah. sees authority in, basically. I mean, way. if we look at this. Alrighty, guys. So today is going to be a super, super fire video. Going to be talking about how I just made 5.4K by working four hours. You can see right there. Um, was it's watching. super raw, right? Yeah. And this vibe that's being given off here, I didn't really feel it in the intro of this video. All right, guys, welcome back to another training. Yeah, and this, this was going to be like a, pretty quick. I didn't even want to record. And then the one you just watched, yeah. I, like I wanted to record, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, and yeah, it's like your emotions really reflect into how, into how you record the video yeah. in the vibe that it gives the audience. Yeah, I'll let you know how everything goes and just make sure like the next few videos or like the future videos in general on direct yeah. correlation than that the main thing like i'm clear on everything the main thing i'm gonna try to crack the code on is like what my target audience is like the ones that are like at 8k 10k 
um, and like appealing to them. So like my calendar just stack with those people at volume. Yeah. Just go to your clients that are that and just ask them what they were thinking when they joined your program, how they felt, um, the biggest value that they've got from your program, what they like to do in their spare time, um, just like everything. And if you go to like even three to five of those of your clients, like the market has a massive affinity. If it's like a certain way with one person, it's very likely to be like that with everybody. Yeah. I'll let you know like what I wrote down my notes and how I put them in those, in those YouTube videos. But um, yeah, bro, yep. I'll let you back on, let you enjoy as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you, bro. Yep. I'll um, see you soon.